I'm Oliver Biles with all your news from yesterday, day six of the 2019 World Series of Poker. The $50,000 High Roller event finished yesterday with Ben Heath winning his first bracelet and with it a mouth-watering $1.48 million. Heath saw himself as chip leader at the end of day three and never looked back as he went on to defeat Andrew Lucky Chewy Lichtenberger heads up who finished second place for $917,232. Heath is also the first non-American to win a bracelet this year and hopefully not the last. The brand new short deck will play down to a winner today. The final seven players will return to fight for the $296,227 first place prize. This is the largest amount of entrance a short deck tournament has ever had, with 110 entrants putting up the $10,000 entry dollar fee. Short deck is a relatively new format to the poker world, and for those of you unfamiliar with this game should know that it plays the same as No Limit Hold'em, with a couple of exceptions. All the twos, threes, fours, and fives are removed from the deck, and flushes beat full houses, amongst a few other changes. Coming in today's final table as a commanding chip leader is Chance Corneth, but looking to pry him away from his third WSOP bracelet is Andrew Robel, who is one of the table's short stacks, but looking to win his first bracelet. The $600 deep stack have added an extra day to the event after a total of 6,150 players entered, with only 582 of those making it through. Originally, this event was due to finish today, but due to the insanely huge field size, they will be finishing tomorrow instead. Daniel Negranu and Eric Seidel are a couple of notable names who will be returning for today. The winner of this tournament looks to take home almost $400,000, which is not bad for a $600 investment. The $5,000 No Limit Hold'em and $1,500 Dealer's Choice also kicked off yesterday. In the 5K, registration is still open for four more levels, but so far 343 players have entered and there are 137 returning today. Some notable names left are chip leader Dan Smith, Daryl Fish and Faraz Jacker. The Dealer's Choice tournament saw 470 players enter with 155 coming back, looking to win their 2019 WSOP bracelet, as well as $144,957. Notable names left in the field include Chris Ferguson, Barry Greenstein, and Mike the Mouth Matasso. Other events that are running today include the one-day $1,000 Super Turbo Bounty, Day 2D of the 500 Big 50, and the $1,500 2-7 No Limit Low Ball. Today sees a total of seven tournaments that are being played throughout the Rio, so we are all in for another busy day here at the 2019 World Series of Poker. I'm Oliver Biles for PokerNews.com.